for history. Oh! Oh my god! What? It's not every day you see a Super Grandmaster destroyed in just nine moves. We had to cover this game by popular demand. Who's playing white? It's Fabiano Caruana. And popping out his throw is Ali Reza Firuzja, another top Super GM. The game started out very simple, just pushing the sea prawn here. That's what Fabi did with the white pieces. Quarterfinals of the Crunch Labs Masters online rapid chess in response Ali Reza just goes prawn to see ships but we get an unusual opening now no d pawn push instead Fabi brings the horsey out with a winnie loves playing with the horsies one of his favorite pieces Ali Reza takes the center and now surely you capture or maybe go e3 you know do something about the attack on the pawn here but no Fabi builds the banana hammock prepares to fianchito the bishop and Ali Reza could take a pawn here different variation but fine not played instead the bishop comes streaming out with a whoosh attacks that knight and fabi now forays forth with knight e5 you normally shouldn't move the same piece twice in the opening but it hits the bishop forces it to move backwards unless you want to give up the bishop pair grandmasters don't like to do that and now fabi breaks another rule queen b3 you should normally get your bits out like this one and this one and this one but here Here's the point, he's hitting the pawn and actually he's already setting the start of a trap because what's the best way to defend? Ali Reza does not find it. If you want to test your skills, do pause and do so. The move you should play is knight d7. And the point is, now if you take the pawn, well, you lose an entire pony. Not ideal. If you take here, queen recaptures, pawn is covered. If you defend the knight, well, still you can take something like this, then you defend. Okay, we roll it back because Ali Reza didn't find the move. He plays the very natural queen b6. We've got a big game of chicken here between these two ladies. And after this move of takes on d5, Ali Reza's forced to take the queens off the board. If you recapture the pawn here, well, the queen takes back, white's a pawn ahead. So we see this one smashed off the board. A recaptures here, opening this rook file. And now we see this move of bishop to e4. Look Looks so natural. You hit the rook in the corner, you hit the pawn. If f3, then you pick up a pawn. Black's doing fine, right? But not played. What does Fabiano do? He's well prepared. He takes on c6, setting a deadly trap for Ali Reza, which he falls into by taking this rook. What should you do? Well, you actually have to capture the pawn and accept that you're gonna have a worse position. Taking isn't actually best because the rook drops in the corner. F3 should be played. This is a sample line and white emerges a pawn ahead plus with the bishop pair. This is why Ali Reza was not keen to go for that one. It's an opening gone wrong, but the lesser of two evils because when he takes the rook in the corner, with his sniper. <laughs> that would go down in all the chess books forever for history. Oh! Oh my god! What? He walks into the most filthy tactic. Can you find it? This is just an immortal chess opening trap. One to remember. Fabi plays the move of rook takes on a7. He didn't see it. Oh my god, it's on the board. There's no way! This is once in a lifetime stuff. Fabiano on the camera, Robert, <laughs> smiling. He knows he's... Wow. This is immortality stuff. Yeah, this is going down in the best games book. Beating Ali Reza Ferruja in essentially nine moves of chess. Two brilliancies in a row. And it forces resignation from Ali Reza. He's absolutely toast. Because if you capture the rook, natural of course, then the pawn pushes. The sea prawn for the win. The king can't get over. A queen's about to be made. You cannot stop it rumbling through. It's just game over once the queen is made. What to do? If you don't capture the rook here, say you bring the king across to try and cover the pawn, well then the rook drops. Of course, white's doing great here just tons of pawns up like two pawns or whatever 
and your threatenings take here with another rook. It's game over. If you go for this, whoops, this, instead of moving the king, then again, rook drops, something like this. Game goes on. I mean, you can probably take, I'm guessing, is one way to play. Win a rook in the corner. Awful, awful. This was what forced resignation right here. Yes, Ali Reza got smashed, but... He did go on to win the Armageddon and therefore progresses through this tournament. So fair play to him. Just a short and sweet one tonight. Saturday evening, I'm going to take a bit of time off with the family. Hope you enjoyed. Smash subscribe if you did. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Cheers.